Country fried chick room, country fried chick room, country fried chick room, country fried chick room. Hello, hello my loves. I popped back in the kitchen real quick today because I just had to show y'all how to make my country fried chick rooms, AKA also known as my fried oyster mushrooms. So it's really, really simple, just a few steps and I'll show y'all how to do it. First thing we have here is I have my oyster mushrooms and I also put in some other kind of mushrooms in there as well because you know I just wanted different textures and flavors. And what I have in here is some pickle juice. And I'm just letting my mushrooms brine in that pickle juice for about 30 minutes or longer. Depends on how pickly you want your country fried chick rooms. So what I'm going to do now, after I've had that brined in there, I have my vegan egg that I'm going to be making. And that's going to act as like the egg to stick everything to our mushroom. And then I also have some flour, some gluten-free flour that I'm going to add some spices to that's going to have all that delicious texture and flavorful and seasoning inside of it. So first things first, let's add our seasoning and our spices into our flour. So the seasonings I have today, first and foremost, I have some garlic powder, onion powder. Garlic powder, onion powder. Garlic powder and onion powder, about a tablespoon and a half of both of these. And you're just gonna add it into your flour mixture, just like that. And y'all, you gotta go in with the seasoning because obviously this is not chicken that we're eating here. We are trying to mimic some kind of form of chicken. And what's beautiful about the oyster mushrooms is it has that nice little texture to it. It's really meaty and hearty and we're just gonna love it. So I have put in my garlic powder and my onion powder. The other seasoning I wanna add in here is just a little bit of some kick, a little bit of some spice, and a little bit of some smokiness. And it is my smoked paprika. Hey, smoked paprika. Hey, hey. My smoked paprika. It's just gonna add that nice little bit of smokiness. And we're gonna be adding in about one tablespoon of that smoked paprika. Hey, hey. I like mine super, super smoky and I'm obsessed with smoked paprika. Next, let's add in some nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast. Let's add in some nutritional yeast. Add in about two tablespoons of this. Really make it cheesy and delicious and just flavor packed, y'all. We're going to add in some poultry seasoning. We're gonna add in some poultry seasoning, and this is what is going to give it that nice chickeny flavor, that nice hearty flavor that you want so nobody knows that you're eating mushrooms. So the seasoning I'm gonna be adding in today, first and foremost, I have some Trader Joe's chicken less seasoning salt. I'm gonna be adding in a mixture of this, and then also, y'all, I love Penzies. Their seasoning, their spices are so fresh, and it's small batch made, so y'all know it's good ingredients. And what this is right here is Ruth Ann's Muskego Avenue Chicken and Fish Seasoning. Good for vegetables, too. And the good news is we're using all vegetables today. So I'm gonna be using about a tablespoon of both of these. Add in that poultry seasoning. Add in that poultry seasoning. And y'all know why we be adding in this seasoning? Seasoning is everything. Seasoning is everything. Whoa, seasoning is everything. When you're making vegan food, when you're making any food, when you're making any food, seasoning is what you need depends on what kind of poultry seasoning you're using. If it has some salt already in there, you don't need to add any salt up in there. If it already has pepper in there, sometimes I like to add in just a little bit of salt and pepper just in case. I want to bust up those flavors. So I'm going to be adding in just a sprinkle of some pepper. Pepper, put, put, put pepper. Ay, pepper, put, put, put pepper. Ay. And then some pink Himalayan sea salt. And then some pink Himalayan sea salt. Just a sprinkle of it, because I already know that that Trader Joe's already has some salt in there, and I don't want to go salt crazy up in here. So grab yourself a whisk, and you're going to whisk in 
all of that seasoning, that spice, and everything nice. And I always like to do the flour first because that way you're not getting your whisk wet before you dip it in the flour and that way it keeps things nice and clean on your way to the frying pan. All right, we have our flour done. Beautiful. And then we're gonna be making our vegan egg. And the easiest way to do this is just get some water, portion out about, I would say, one fourth of a cup to half of a cup, depending on however many mushrooms you have. And they're gonna pour in your water slowly. And what I like to do is just add in about one fourth cup of some water. And then I like to give it a whisk and see how we're doing with the viscosity or the thickness of it. So as you can see, this got really, really thick really quick. So that means obviously I need to add in some more water. There we go, pour that in. And you want this vegan egg to be nice and thin. You don't want it to be very thick like you would use it if you were making like normal eggs with this product, but instead you want it pretty thin because that way it's not gonna get too thick on that oyster mushroom. It's just gonna be a nice layer to add on that nice eggy flavor. All right, there we go. Let's add in just a little bit more water because we want it still a little bit thinner. So let's add in some more water. Add in some more water, H2O. <laughs> add in that water and as you can see, it's getting nice and thin. Just the exact viscosity that I want. There we go, perfect. Awesome, so like I said, we have our oyster mushrooms and I've been brining them in my pickle juice. Let's see, is my oil ready? Yes, my oil is nice and hot. And y'all wanna see a quick little tip how to tell if your oil is hot? I like to just get myself a little bit of water, splash a little bit of water, splash a little bit of water in your pot and just see if it bubbles up, there we go. Yeah, you know it's hot. If it bubbles up like that, if you splash a little bit of water, that's how you know it's ready. All right, let's fry this up. First things first, let me grab a big juicy piece of my oyster mushroom that's been sitting in my pickle juice, making it delicious as all get out. And then I'm gonna dip it in my vegan egg and give it a nice tap. Get off all that extra egg on there. You want this nice thin layer. And then dip it into your flour. Just give it a good, Shake that oyster mushroom around. Move that oyster mushroom around. Flower that oyster mushroom around. Season that oyster mushroom around. Oh, look at that. And then you're just gonna dip it in that frying oil. And that's gonna crisp up real nice. Just like that. All right, let's do some more. Country fried chick room, country fried chick room. Whoa, country fried chick room. Hey, country fried chick room. Mm. Nice, floury, battery, and beautiful. There we go. I like to make sure it's nice and battered before I dip it in. And I like to give it a good shake sometimes too to make sure there's no extra flour. Just dip it down. And let's see how our first piece is doing. Ooh, <laughs> let's give it a good flip. There she goes. Look at her crisping up real nice. We can flip her around too. There she goes. So we have our country fried chick room frying in the pan. Country fried chick room frying in the pan. Whoa, country fried chick room frying in the pan. Let's do a couple of these regular mushrooms just to see a little bit of different texture. These are gonna come out kind of like chicken nuggets almost in a way. Country fried nuggets, country fried nuggets, country fried nuggets, country fried nuggets. Whoa, yes, dip it in there. And I always like to make sure that I am not keeping my pieces of mushroom too close to each other. That way the flour doesn't mix in too closely and that way they fry up really nice and crispy. And whenever you're frying it, you're gonna be frying these pieces of mushroom, I would say for about eight 
to nine minutes, roughly. I mean, it depends on how high your heat is. I'm keeping mine at like a medium high right now because I don't want it to pop up at your girl. So funny story about this recipe, how we came up with it. Ace is obsessed with Chick-fil-A, right baby? You obsessed. <laughs> obsessed with Chick-fil-A. And before we met, he was eating a lot of Chick-fil-A and then he met me and obviously I started making vegan food and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, I could totally go vegan except Chick-fil-A, man, those nuggets, man, those fries, that sauce. And so what did we do, y'all? We went out of our way and we looked up the recipe, literally, for the Chick-fil-A nuggets and we saw how they cooked it in the egg and how they did the flour and we kind of added our own season our own spark but the main thing that we really liked about their recipe was the pickle juice so we were like okay we're gonna use that and so we always like to brine our mushrooms and sometimes we do our jackfruit too in that pickle juice and then boop boop fry it up and here we go country fried chick rum mm -mm. oh yes these are almost ready to go y'all I'm gonna pop a few more in here while these are frying up. Look at that, battered in her own deliciousness. And what's fabulous about this too, y'all, we're gonna make this dipping sauce that tastes incredible with that fried goodness, that good texture on the outside. Cover her in that flour. Country fried chick room, first you batter it up in that vegan egg, then you put it in the flour. Dip her off, and she's ready to go. Go on, girl. I'm gonna make my great sauce. I'm gonna make my great sauce. I'm gonna make my great sauce. So great sauce is basically, you know, the best sauce y'all are ever gonna eat in your life, and it's made out of three delicious, simple ingredients. First things first, I like to use soy-free vegan mayonnaise. Doesn't really matter what brand you use, but I always like to make sure that's soy-free, just so you know, Keep things at a minimum with the soy. This has already got some soy in it. I like to balance out my different kinds of plant protein. And then we also have some just regular mustard. You can use like a spicy mustard if you want something a little more tangier. We're gonna use some basic mustard today. And then Stubbs barbecue sauce, y'all. I love Stubbs. I love that it has no high fructose corn syrup in it. And that flavor is fabulous. So I'm gonna show y'all basically the easiest way how to make this sauce. Scoop out about one fourth cup of your mayonnaise. And this is gonna be the main ingredient that you're using in your sauce. So there we go. We got our mayonnaise in there. And then let's squirt in some mustard, about two tablespoons of mustard. There we go. Just adding all these dynamic different kinds of flavor in here, y'all. And then of course, let's add in three to four tablespoons of some Stubbs barbecue sauce. Mm, there she goes. And then let's whisk it up. And then let's whisk it up. Y'all saw how beautiful this color is that we have here. This vibrant orange this is exactly the color that you want when you are making this great sauce. Great sauce, great sauce, ooh, great sauce, great sauce, great sauce, ooh, great sauce, ooh, I love great sauce, y'all. Use it on fries, use it on a burger, use it on pizza, thin it out with a little bit of vinegar, put it in a salad, fabulous. There we go, we're gonna dip our country fried chick rooms in these great sauce, y'all. These are frying up so beautifully. I'm gonna flip her around just a little bit. I wanna make sure we get all that crispiness on there. Turn up that heat. What I've noticed is as you're frying it in the pan, sometimes as you add in more and more mushrooms, the heat of the oil kind of goes down. So I like to just kind of bump it up as I add in more mushrooms. That way everything is getting fried crispy and fabulous. Woo all right, I think it's time. Ooh, this one feels pretty good. This one feels really nice. I think this may be the one that we use for the tester. <gasps> Let's see, all right, let me get her out. Come on in, girl. Country fried chick rum, country fried chick rum. Just pop her in. Ooh, look at her, she looks so beautiful. All right, which other ones are fried and ready to go? Sometimes I do a nice little bounce on top <laughs> just to see if they're ready. Ooh, I think this 
this mushroom right here is ready to go. And make sure you let these cool off for just a little bit, maybe like 30 seconds. That way they're not burning your mouth as they go in. All right, y'all. Ooh, there we go. More delicious fried mushrooms. Woo! Country fried chicken. Mm -mm. Woo! Country fried chicken. Mm -mm. All right, let's start off with these ones and do a little taste test. Let's see. Oh, man. Definitely gonna grab this big piece right here. Dip it in my great sauce. Dip it in my great sauce. Let's give her a dip. Oh, Y'all, I'm so excited. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, y'all, look at this crispiness. Look at this. This is made of plants. Gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, egg-free. Y'all saw how simple and easy it is to make this country fried chick room. Wow, y'all, let me get one more bit of this, so, cause dang, this is delicious. And I know Ace is looking at me like, you gonna eat all those? <laughs> Maybe, stay tuned. <laughs> mm. Wow, and with this great sauce, y'all, this is perfect. This is exactly what I needed comfort food to a tea. Well, y'all saw how simple, how easy it was to get yourself going and glowing in the kitchen with some country fried chick rooms. I'll see y'all next time in the One Great Vegan Kitchen. Goodbye, my loves. Country fried chick room, country fried chick room, country fried chick room, country fried chick room. Mm -hmm.